Hey guys, I'm Mike. Welcome back to another Common Tennis video. Today we got a special episode for you. We've got Dustin from Forehand Frenzy and we're going to talk about how we got into tennis. What's going on everybody? This is Dustin, Instagram Forehand Frenzy. Today I'm in Toronto, Canada. I'm happy to be here. I'm going to share with you guys and Coach Mike about how we got started with tennis. See you later. at a local park kind of like this and was just playing against a kid who was happened to be number one at my high school and I was rallying with him and I started to just really love the game and I ended up beating him and then joining my uh, my high school team my, just my senior year and having a pretty solid record uh, going on to play at uh, university for four years number one singles and doubles and then I get all so right out of high right school, out of high school yeah. you played like on your high school team go play university and manage to get number one in the university team that's that's some like good athleticism you think like the basketball kind of played into like your skills on the tennis court absolutely 100 percent uh, i was a very raw player i'm still a very raw player uh, looking at your strokes looking at my strokes i can tell you know you've been playing probably your story is probably a little bit different than mine uh, but I am who I am. Everybody should just own the player that they are and try to get better. It's try a, life, it's a lifelong sport. Exactly. You know, if, you're, exactly. if you're watching this video right now, you know that uh, either you're, you're either going to try to play tennis soon or you've been playing and it's an it's addictive sport. Yeah. And it's something that you, know, you and I both share and we try to get better at every day, not only on the court, but physically. You know, a lot of you have to be fit to play this yeah. at a high level. Um, and a lot of people are, are putting up things out on social media now as far as fitness. It's all free material, you know. Exactly. Our material is all free to you guys. So and it always will enjoy be. It. it always will be. I'd like never try to make a dime off of like the stuff I'm posting on YouTube or on Instagram. Uh, I just want to like spread the word of tennis and like share what I know so that other people can go on the court and like enjoy themselves. 100%. I find that you can tell me your experience, but I find that uh, when I do try to get people involved, uh, they often go out and try to play like with one of their friends who are inexperienced. And then they come back to me and say, oh, tennis is too hard. We hit like a couple tennis balls. We spend all of our time chasing tennis balls and it does, it's not for us. And uh, that's why I'm posting this stuff is to get people, to teach them how to, how to get started in the sport, to learn a little bit so they're not just kind of going out there and shooting tennis balls over the fence and going home after, you know? I think that's like the biggest kind of barrier is like uh, just getting people in there and being able to rally. I think if you can get people at least good enough to rally, then they'll kind of see what attracts like me and Absolutely. you to tennis you know yeah that's the goal you know everybody wants yeah. to rally everybody wants to run around and uh stay you know stay in shape yeah. uh in florida we have a ton of clinics and a ton of opportunities and the weather 24 7 yeah. which plays a huge role uh but i encourage if you don't have a partner and you really want to grow your you know grow your skill take a lesson it doesn't have to be a private get a friend do a semi-private get on the ball machine get on the wall uh, watch, watch our videos. And of course, watch yeah, check out videos. the uh, online yeah. resources that you guys have. There's a lot of good ones. So let me ask you a question. Sure. Uh, you got your camps going on right now. Yeah. How are those going so far? Uh, we're super busy this year. Uh, it seems to be getting busier every year, which is what I like to see. Uh, we're seeing a lot more interest, and I actually attribute a lot of the excitement and interest around tennis, especially in Toronto, to the to the tennis stars that we've got right now. We've got Milos Raonic, who has made it to world number three, which was like incredible for yeah. Tennis Canada. Uh, and now we have the 19 year old, is he 18 or 19 now? I think he's 19. 19, 19 year old Dennis Shapovalov. This guy is just, he's an absolute inspiration. So now that the kids actually see that there's people coming from Toronto, people coming from Canada and doing well in tennis, it inspires them and it shows them that it's possible to actually make something of yourself playing tennis in Canada. Definitely, yeah. yeah. I'm a huge Chapo fan myself. Uh, I support the American players and Canadian players. I met Chapo when I was down in Delray Beach at the Delray Beach Open. Great guy. Takes the time to say what up to all the kids and, you know, sign the autographs. So I'm rooting for him. I think eventually he'll be world number one. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking too. If I were to bet, I would uh, be a betting man on Chapo Valo. And uh, maybe we'll report some points and 
code on here, and if you guys have any questions, DM, DM me for Head Frenzy. Yeah, make sure. Everything I gave to you, I gave to you, I gave to you. You got it, you got it, you got it. It's coming, coming, coming. coming. So are you Thank you.